Hello everyone. Welcome to today's video on Stopping by the Woods on a Snowy Evening, which is a poem written by Robert Frost. This poem was one of the favorite ones of the former Prime Minister of India, that is Jawaharlal Nehru. He loved country life and recorded its charm and beauty in this wonderful poem. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let's begin by knowing some little information about Robert Frost. Robert Frost was born in 1874. He was an American poet whose work was first published in England and then in America. He is highly regarded for his realistic depiction of rural life and his command of American colloquial language. He uses the rural setting of New England as a backdrop to examine complex social and philosophical themes. He received four Pulitzer Prize for poetry. He was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal for the poetic works. He was named Poet Laureate of Vermont and became one of America's rare public literary figure, almost an artistic institution. Although his work is principally associated with the life and landscape of New England and he was a poet of traditional verse forms and meters and remained aloof from poetic movements and fashions of his time, he is an ideally modern poet. Searching the dark meditations on universal themes and portraying psychological complexities, his work is infused with layers of ambiguity and irony. Now, let's see the poem. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house in the village though. He will not see me stopping here to watch these woods fill up with snow. This line says that once the poet was passing through a dense forest. While passing, he stopped for a short while to watch the strange beauty of the woods and nature. Being there, the poet enjoyed the mystic beauty of the surrounding and the poet knew the name of the owner of the woods. He says, the owner lived in the village nearby, while he stood there to stare at the wood covered with snow, but still the owner could not see him stopping there. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near, between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. This lines says that while the poet was riding through a forest, he stopped for a while to watch the strange beauty of the woods and nature. He was so attracted by the snow-covered trees and hills that he did not pay attention to the frozen lake, so the horse thought that it was strange. The rider had stopped there. There was no farmhouse near. The lake was also frozen, looking like a darkest evening of the year. The horse did not understood why the rider had stopped there. While he further says, He gives his harness bell a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. As from the previous para, the horse did not understand why the rider had stopped, so the horse now gave a shake to his harness bell. He seems to ask if there was some mistake in stopping there in the woods. While at the background, it was the darkest evening. The only other sound he could hear at that time was that of the sweeping of easy wind and the flat pieces of snow falling down. Apart from this, there was no other sounds that could attract the traveler's attention. And like on the snowy dark night, the surrounding was calm and quiet. The woods are lovely, dark and deep. But I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. In this stanza, the speaker moves on emphasizing the beauty of the woods. But he also admits that he has to keep other promises too. 
he can't just stop and enjoy the beauty of nature and he has to travel for miles before he could relax himself with some sleep the repetition of the last two lines shows his urgency and his determination now that we have understood the poem one may ask what is the central idea of the poem therefore let me tell you that the central idea of the poem stopping by woods on a snowy evening by robert frost is the importance of work and duty it is heavy duty poem it says that we should work more and relax less the poet was passing through a forest and was attracted to the scenery he was passing by so he takes his time and appreciate the beauty of the nature but he could not wait there for a long time he had no time to stand and stare there and he had to keep many promises the call to duty was more important than the beauty of the forest so he had to do a lot of work before his death he realized his mistake and left the place at once and therefore in life we should never lose sight of our work duty and responsibilities now while concluding we can just say that everyone has promises to keep and so without stopping one has to flow with time having said this let's end today's video If you like my video and wish to support me then please like share and subscribe and for more videos continue visiting our channel thank you